Hi guys, uh, welcome to the Linux channel. So recently I was uh, doing some uh, experimentation and I was uh, doing some uh, benchmarks uh, between uh, proc interface and uh, the standard uh, character uh, driver uh, interface of uh, Linux uh, kernel uh, subsystem. So I was uh, doing uh, tests with more than a uh, uh, few GBs of data and I have done uh, uh, tests with uh, live uh, network uh, traffic and it was quite an interesting uh, research I was uh, doing and uh, in case if you guys are interested in terms of comparing the proc interface versus uh, the character uh, driver uh, in terms of its uh, performance point of view you should understand the proc interface have the overload of uh, standard uh, virtual file system so anything which is uh, presented in the proc file system has this overload so it is ideally suited for any configuration uh, parameters to be set in case if you are writing your own network stack or uh, kernel modules you can use uh, proc interface as a uh, way to set your uh, uh, parameters and as well as read the kernel config of your modules or existing modules and so on and as well as you can also use it some kind of uh, uh, kernel user space uh, communication interface i know that there are so many ways existing which are uh, better than proc but uh, if you're uh, uh, starting uh, doing some sort of research uh, like me and uh, if you need a simplest way to get data from kernel to the user space i'm not talking about a few kbs or a few bytes of uh, uh, text files in proc i'm talking about huge binary files i'm talking even about uh, network packets as well. so you can uh, fetch through proc interface and uh, this is what exactly i was doing it and i was uh, uh, getting these packets in real time uh, without using any uh, capturing tools like leap pcap or uh, um, raw socket uh, uh, modules and so on i was uh, directly tapping in some way in the linux kernel and then getting it via proc interface and i'm able to uh, do uh, my own uh, network stack so i was successful with the same and it was quite interesting the proc interface uh, the after after a certain uh, point i can see there is a lot of uh, overhead with the proc interface uh, but one of the coolest things i appreciate about pro proc interface is uh, you can uh, do a cat command and you can uh, read the file uh, uh, contents and you can even redirect to a file within your uh, 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 home directory or anywhere else uh, and then you can uh, get a standard file as one can understand proc files will have a file size of uh, zero so it is quite tricky in case if you are writing a c code uh, but uh, you can still uh, write a c code and read this uh, proc files so although it is uh, you know zero size in uh, length and uh, you can also uh, uh, communicate any sort of binary files via proc interface and uh, interestingly i have done uh, uh, i have able to get these files even in my uh, php based uh, prototype uh, network stack even it worked beautifully so as i was experimenting further i was more more uh, testing with the gigabit network so th that is when uh, i can start uh, seeing some signs of uh, sluggishness and uh, that's that's what uh it's all because of the file system so this is not a test uh, which is like intended uh, it's like in case if you are really implementing something it is some sort of a research point of view i was uh, doing it and then once i have perfected it i have just uh, transferred it uh, uh, to the standard uh, character driver so you can uh, create a ca character driver uh, in the dev interface uh, in the dev uh, directory and you can register your uh, uh, character driver uh, uh, name and uh, you can file and file name and uh, uh, with that what you can see is you can see a huge performance improvement because a uh, character driver uh, will almost act like uh, um, um, kernel to user space uh, communication interface so this is also one way you can communicate you can communicate with netlink sockets you can communicate with various other ways uh, but ca character drivers are very interesting and uh, i have done it in block mode uh, there are also other modes which are possible so one more advantage with the character drivers is uh, you don't have the restriction of the file size and uh, this is something you may hit uh, with uh, proc files and uh, in case if i need to deal with the jumbo packets if i need to do some uh, research or getting these packets in user space uh, uh, with uh, some sort of uh, jumbo packets or uh, 
uh, or even more bigger than jumbo frames so, so in this ca- uh, cases what will happen is proc interface is going to be a limitation and uh, uh, and this is where uh, it gets interesting to uh, create a character driver and you can get uh, your uh, packets or you can get your uh, uh, contents uh, bulk contents from kernel space to user space and to and fro so for me i'm not uh, into writing anything back to the kernel space I, i'm more uh, into reading uh, from the kernel space to user space and it worked out beautifully yes. so so this is what i was uh, uh, casually uh, 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 searching in uh, google search and uh, i'm unable to get any proper uh, source uh, where uh, people cannot uh, uh, write a neat uh, you know article or a documentation about uh, you know which is well suited for what sort of purpose and what is the uh, exact comparison between a proc interface and a, uh, you know uh, sh- slash dev uh, uh, character driver interface so so this is what i thought uh, let me discuss in this video in case if you are uh, uh, writing uh, kernel uh, programming uh, modules or kernel uh, modules and in case if you are writing any sort of network stack in case if you are uh, prototyping something i can suggest uh, you can start with proc so that you can see visually what the data is uh, coming out of the kernel and you can uh, do the same with uh, character drivers but you need to write your own c program and you need to read it with the read api and you need to do all these things as well. so which is not an issue but at the same time <laughs> proc makes the things uh, much easier as well. so this is something needed as a point of uh, uh, research point of view as a point of view uh, in case if you are doing some sort of prototyping quick prototyping and in case if you are uh, very much short in time so So in that cases uh, you can definitely use proc even for exchanging any uh, binary data not just uh, you know standard uh, linux uh, configuration text files or something like that so you can use any uh, binary data so it is a very good interface so i highly recommend uh, proc you can try uh, you can forget about all its overheads uh, and the people who discuss in the standard uh, linux textbooks the problem is they just discuss about its uh, uh, basic uh, you know uh, examples what you can do with proc files as such so they don't kind of cover all aspects so in case if you are serious about prototyping and a concept or an idea you can start using proc interface and it is very good you can debug you can see your uh, data visually and you can uh, even uh, um, avoid using any c code in user space instead you can use uh, standard scripting tools if you are comfortable with them uh, java scripts or java you can use you can uh, do it with uh, php you can use with uh, do perl python anything else so apart from c and this is the advantage you get especially with standard proc interface whereas in case if your uh, prototype is now mature and you need to do a real implementation of something then in that case uh, you can use uh, character drivers and you can pull the data uh, let it be even gbs or tbs per second whereas uh, you can uh, uh, use uh, Uh, character drivers uh, uh, interface and then you can pull the data to the user space and then you can process the same and you can uh, you know uh, do whatever you want to do with that so other than that uh, there are some special cases uh, you know in case if you are uh, starting uh, to learn as well uh, linux kernel uh, programming one of the problems with the textbooks or anywhere you search is uh, people will give all sorts of options and they give like 10 choices uh, where you can use uh, which is uh, the best interface uh, uh, to use between a kernel to user space uh, you know communication they can also suggest uh, iocetl calls and uh, things like that so this is my best suggestion for you guys in case if you are uh, this is especially for uh, beginners uh, so if you are a beginner take one specific communication interface uh, and uh, get a mastery of it and that is more than enough for most of your times and you can use proc for all sorts of things you can use uh, uh, character drivers for all sorts of things you can use uh, even character driver to configure your kernel modules you can use uh, even iocetls to configure your kernel modules you can use proc to configure your kernel modules so you can do even uh, a network uh, uh, sniffer packet packet sniffer with the proc uh, interface you can do a pro- packet sniffer with a uh, uh, character driver or even with iocetl call so we just need to see uh, which is the option which is uh, well optimized for that specific need so uh, this is what all about so this is 
a choice an expert takes as a beginner you know you are free to experiment anything and uh, you just need to understand which is the most easy to learn and which is the most easier uh, uh, to debug and uh, you can visually see what is happening in the system so this is far more important it's just not uh, you download an example uh, file uh, uh, source and then you compile it uh, a kernel module you compile a user space uh, um, c code and then just uh, start uh, you know interacting with something and uh, after that you it it will be kind of difficult uh, to put your logic into the same and get your prototype up so this is what uh, many people will get uh, uh, a great obstacle in terms of you know uh, getting their prototype up in the first place so so as a beginner this is my uh, first suggestion is uh, just take anything and uh, you know you can prototype you can prototype with any of these techniques and uh, just don't worry about all other cool options which kernel provides so sometimes they are not at uh, suited and sometimes uh, it has a sort of uh, compromise you need to do you need to write a lot of uh, spaghetti code in terms of you know getting something very special unique about it and it doesn't justify what you are looking for what you are looking for is a sort of doability and prototyping or else if you are um, uh, writing uh, some sort of uh, stack uh, you need to uh, 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 you know you need some sort of proof of concept you don't need to worry about various other things which you know may be better performs than this in a, in a way to start what is that it is more required is you need to get an interface which is you know uh, the best uh, suited as well as easier in terms of making your prototype so that should be the priority for you guys so if you ask my opinion i love uh, proc interface uh, than any other uh, interfaces which uh, kernel provides because uh, it is one of the interface it is you know easy to uh, understand and it is also very much visible uh, uh, without any special tools or any uh, you know supporting c code in user space so this is the reason i use proc for most of my prototyping and once uh, the prototyping is successful and then uh, later i think about uh, what i can do in terms of incre- improving the performance and some times uh, if it doesn't need and if it doesn't uh, justify uh, to transfer uh, the similar logic onto a character driver or uh, some sort of io ctl call so then i will uh, stick with proc interface so this is what uh, me as a child so love the linux uh, proc interface and i don't like various other uh, options uh, which kernel provides most of the time so <laughs> So that's all guys uh, for this episode I hope you liked uh, watching this video and in case if you have any questions uh, you can send it uh, across in my email or you can post it in youtube comments so uh, thank you once again for watching this video guys uh, have a nice day bye bye